Inside the output folder, you will see there your newly created installer for your application. Open your internet browser. Search for Inno Setup. Then click Downloads. Scroll down and click US or Netherlands under Download Sites. Wait for the download to finish. When done, open the InnoSetup.exe. Just follow the installation steps in the video. Next, click create a new script file using the script wizard. Then click OK. Click next to proceed. Under application name, type the name of your application. In application version, you can just leave it. Under application publisher, type your company name, or you can just type your name as the owner of the app. In the application website, just type your own website if you have. You can leave it blank also. When done, click on next. In the application destination base folder, click on the drop down menu, then click custom. Type open curly brace, common pf then close curly brace. This should make your app installed in the program files directory x86. If your application supports the 64 version, then just add 64 after pf. When done, click on next. In the application main executable file, click browse. Find and open your application's main exe file. Next, click on Add Folder. Your folder should include all the needed files to make your main exe file work. But if your main exe file is a standalone, then, you can skip this step and click Next. In the application documentation, I will just leave it all blank. Click Next to continue. In the install mode, just leave it also to default and click Next. Under application registry keys and values, just leave it also and press next. Under setup language, select the language you want for your installer. I will just leave it to English. In the compiler settings, type your installer or setup name in the compiler output base file name. When done, click next again. Then click finish. In would you like to compile the new script now, click on yes. Then yes again. Just name the ISS file any name and click save. Wait for the compiling to finish. When done, you will see the finished message. You can just delete the ISS file now. Inside the output folder, you will see there your newly created installer for your application. Thank you for watching. A simple like is really appreciated. If this video helps, do not forget to subscribe also. If you have a question, just comment below. Thank you.